Hey, what's up everyone? Uh, you probably noticed the title of this video right here is <coughs> Tats and Earrings, especially for men. Are they okay? What's your feelings on it? You know, I know we've had these threads before, but we've never actually had a live demonstration. And I've got a fellow cleaner here I want you to see for a second. Mike, this is Mike Brickhouse. Uh, what do you call these things in your ears, Mike? Gauges. Gauges, I'm sorry. And on your, eye, on your eyelid, Oh, eyebrow ring, a nose eyebrow ring. ring, and a nose ring, piercings, and all the tats Tattoos. right there. Yeah, Mike is definitely loaded up with tats. So my question is, how do you think customers perceive you? I'm going to ask Mike in a second, but I'd like to know what you think about how clients perceive you. Here's Mike. He's a great guy, nice guy, but his tats, his 250 pounds of muscle, and the earrings and the gauges and stuff kind of. Scare people a little I'm bit. I'm not of that electric personality. <laughs> Hi guys, how are y'all? Watching. That. Just that's all you got to do. Just yeah. show your person. So you know, my point is, you know, if we say perception is everything, and first impressions are everything, how do you think clients feel when they see that? He's got here hand. tats, okay, earrings, no. You got to walk in and shake that customer's hand. Yeah, like you how, mean. How right? are you? Like you mean it? Like their family. Okay. All right. And treat like them like we've the known family. each other for 20 years. Okay. Getting All right. that instant comfort. Well, I want to get everybody's perspective. Age of customer has everything to do with it. Justin says. No. Nope. You might have a good point there. Hey, hey, huh? Look at the 80 year old man. Oh, you dropped that That's rug off too. That's a 450 dollar wool rug. That you're cleaning for yeah, I'm but cleaning. it's probably not a 10 thousand dollar rug. I don't know. Yeah. How much? I don't I price rugs. I, I have no you. idea. But but he was 80 years old. Look, didn't even say a kind of a. Uh, a one fifth of a word about anything well, about me. Maybe he was scared of me, Mike. No, he was sweet. We both work out at the same gym. <laughs> oh, okay. He just got back. Oh, so he life. knew you from the gym? No, he didn't. No, he was a customer. Oh, y'all just had that in common. He had a one light bag. That's cool. first thing I said. You Here just you go. Back Richard said it's all about personality. Well, this guy ain't missed a personality. No, he actually has. I've got tons. I would like a study done to see I'm if sweet. it would get less tips from a person who doesn't have tats. Men and women are also different. Justin says. So. Oh, the women love me. And my stats also uh, help your neck, too. The, the, look, the women love me. Watch it now, watch it. Yeah, I got no problem with the women. They're like, oh, hey, come on in and clean my rug. It makes them feel comfortable at the top. Mm. Clean uh, my rugs. I think things, I think, you know, I, I, I'm not to admit, times have changed. Times have changed. 20 years old. ago, 20 years ago, if you said you had a tattoo, as long as they're intelligent, it's fine with me, Ed says. Okay, I'll go with that. Chris Why White showing you mock him like he's a moron for saying that? It says. That's an intelligent comment. I just made it that way. I was talking intelligent. It sounded like you were mocking no, him. No, not at all. Ed, not at I'm all. sorry for Rob. Not at all. Showing genuine interest and being kind to the customers Absolutely. will go a long way. Walk okay? in and shake their hand. Treat them like family. There you go. I'll go Find a common ground. And if I've been in the same town for 25, 30 years. Then Mark says you Mark just got to smile. Oh, he is kind of I sweet. I brush my teeth. <laughs> He's got to brush his teeth. There you go. Some people uh, let mustaches freak them out. Well, right, I mean, get over a it. A beard and a mustache. Beards are kind. Of, I mean, mustaches are kind of creepy. I Beards think you, are cool. If you walk in and you just don't don't have act much like a weirdo, they look past it. Okay, right. I'll go with if, that. If you don't walk in and just kind of you know act off-putting or you know overly quiet, they don't really care. If you walk in and got a smile on your face, you got a smile on your face. That's, That's true. What people want to see. Now sometimes the customers are. Just dark and unhappy. Stephen Lillard said he's seen my tram stamp. Now ain't no tattoos on me, sucker. Oh my gosh. You're gay, Stephen. <laughs> uh, Rob knows I'm the S H I T, Barry said. This is Ed Barry. Ed, Ed's the guy who's a good auto mechanic. He travels around the area. and he, uh, I've talked to Ed. Yeah, he's a cool guy. Yeah, he knew my dad, Brickhouse. Oh, really? Yeah, that's right. You've seen him in my shop before. Cool. Ed, I had a fuel pump go out of one of my carpet cleaning machines, but I got it fixed. I know you said you weren't in the uh, state. He was in Moyoc working that day. So I look, anybody else got any perspective on, will you hire people with tats? Maybe, I don't mean maybe a little bit of tats, but what if the tats, what if the tats go up their care. neck? If they're sweet, they're sweet. What if the tats go up their neck? What if they got these big gauges? It's not uncommon to have the girl at Applebee's serve you looks just like that. So what's the difference? Yeah. That's are you true. going to tell her not to serve you food? No, I'm not saying one way or the other. I'm no, asking, I'm asking them. Okay, yeah, I'm, they, I'm asking you, everybody's opinion. Yeah, no. 20 years ago, I never would have hired anybody with a beard and tats, but I had that now. Right. But I went to 20 shop years shop. ago right. because well, we were taught clean cut was everything. Yeah, that was Let's see, it's all now. about the first smile. You can be purple covered in tattoos. Your smile can put a housewife at ease. Good point, Justin. Good point. That's true. And Mike smiles a lot. I do. Try to. Oh, well, you're 250 pounds and 
look like you, you gotta make me smile. Okay, 240, whatever it is, somewhere right around there. I'm a buck 80, 6'1", you know what I mean? You're like 6'4", I'm sorry, I'm 6 foot. Let's see, have tests nowadays, and I also guess it depends. I, that, that comment moved fast, let me go back to it here. And Mike listens to this stuff, classical. What did you just do? I didn't do anything. Yeah, I smell something. No, that's just my Don't be doing that in here while I'm in here, please. That's just regular old thing. No, no, sir. don't do that while I I'm in here. I'm a man of my own truck. I know, but just because you give me a ride home, don't be doing that stuff in here. I know that smell from rock concerts. Uh-huh, uh-huh. That's, he's mistaken. I don't want no contact high in here. Good Lord. Mostly about interpersonal skills, skills, and most people have tats nowadays. I guess it depends on what kind of tats you have. And yeah, what kind of tats do you have, Mike? I don't even know. Music notes, wings. When customers call me, I'm the one who answers the phone, and you know, I tell them I'm an owner operator, and I'm coming out there. So they already have kind of a, a warmness with me right off the, the bat because they talk to me on the phone. That's true, because you are a uh, yeah, an owner operator. Yeah. So That's they true. already kind of hear my voice. So when I walk in, they even call you by Mike. They call me by Mike. Mike that my name's like Mike. That. I'm the owner. I'll, I'll, I'll be go the with one. that. Yeah. Yeah. I'll so a lot of that. times they've kind of met me before they've met me physically. They've already met me. You know, on a phone. Right, right, so right. So they've already got some kind so of So they already sense. got the first impression right, right. there. I'll, I'll he text sounds people like a nice smiley guy. faces. I'm sure, I'll do things women, like I'm sure that. he's a great guy and doing great with the ladies. Love is blind. Oh, I have clients who would not hire. Let's finish what he said here. We're going to finish reading. Open it up. They wouldn't hire the big earring things. All and, day, every day. And I have my guys cover up the tats. Yeah, 20 years, nobody's ever sent but me I'm home. Just, well, and I'll clean carpets just like this. You do not. All day long? No, in a tank top. Virginia Beach. No, come on. Where are you from? Come on, no, no, tank tops, no, sorry. It's got to stop there. Rural Iowa, uh, probably hey, not warmly received. And Des Moines, fine. So he's right, maybe the small Beach. town. He, 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 but he's no, uh, this guy, this guy, Chris. This is the national town. shoe for Virginia Beach, no, right here. No, my guys ain't this wearing that. This is the national. Well, that's his guys, but you got OSHA. This is the we national. We got OSHA shoe. when you got customers. We got employees. You got OSHA. One, one man, one man. Up here. You guys should light up a bowl. He is lighting it up. <laughs> that's what's killing me, man. Uh, and I'm stuck in here on a rainy day with the windows uh, closed. I'm gonna breathe through my shirt. Oh, oh. terrible. What's up, Nicole? Amanda, we're talking about tats now. Nicole's loaded with tats. She you got to check her out. I'm not going to say if she's hot. She's married. I'm married too. Las Vegas, though. Okay, yeah, she, she's she's attractive. There's I, no I went about to it. the Vegas show and met uh, some a lot of the. Robert D out said there. it's normal. It's Cali. Oh, he's in Cali, so it's normal over there. He said normal for tats. Daily. It's, it's getting that way here too. It, it is. is normal. It is. It's getting normal here too. I agree. You're old. You got to get me home soon, man. I can't be breathing this stuff in the truck. I can't make the traffic truck. move any faster. I hear you. Jeff says, personality is everything. Once the first impression is over, Done. you're good. Done. Done. You walk in and you can be clean cut, okay. beautiful. If you got an attitude, they'll sense it. That's it true. doesn't matter. I've always said, you know, a nose and uh, a gold earring in the nose of a pig is still a pig. You know what I mean? No, I don't. Well, it's ahead. not pretty, in other words. Here we go. Here we go. Kyle says it shouldn't matter. Kyle says it shouldn't matter. As long as they're good personalities, and I finish reading this, it shouldn't matter as long as they do the job correctly. Well, Mike, uh, I've seen Mike's work, I, I so got a four point he's nine. hopeless. I got a 4.9. Hey, Johnny says here in California, this is happy to show up at all. That's hey, <laughs> I got a 4.9. Oh, that's nine. hilarious. Rob, take some ganja and chillax. Night fix your knee pain, Dad. Oh, no thanks. I'm already, Mike's in here smoking. He's got his window down, Rob, and it's raining. What am I going to do? I'm trying to get a ride home. Jeez. Never ride home with somebody doing that, okay? It's Jeez, not marijuana. It's uh, nicotine. Yeah, I know the smell difference, okay? I'm not that dumb. When I was younger, I did that to inhale. Chris says, let's put some tats on Rob and test it. <laughs> oh, that's horrible, Chris. No, you know, you know what? I don't mind tats anymore, but I will say this about tats. It's hard to improve what God's already done. So that's how I look at it. So Nicole said, thanks. <laughs> no problem at all. You know, so I don't mind them. They're kind of growing on me, but I don't really want them because I don't know. I guess I was in the wrong generation. You guys are different. Listen, when I was younger, only people who went to prison had tattoos. Oh, yeah. Well, my that's dad had a biker shop. He so was it was normal for me to see tattoos so people my, when I was in there. Guys hey, hey, Rob, son, listen, son, if you're looking at this video, which I think you are, Will you get in touch with Jason? I don't know he's trying to reach me, but I'm doing a live video. So reach out to him. Let him know I'm doing a live video here. Let's see. So I uh, see Chris and a couple other people. Let's see. Robert D. Johnny's right. People are lucky to win the lottery out here. 
So I guess if you show up, that's a good uh, thing. No, that's just a, you're a piece of you don't do your job. Yeah, I agree sure. with that. Yeah, that's, that's true. Crazy. Let's see Johnny Phelps and Rob look good with a Groutmaster face tattoo. Out. <laughs> oh Lord. Get Let's a Mike see. Tyson. Here from Wisconsin. What's up, Joe? Where are you going? Gas? Okay. I was wondering. You want to push it? No, I don't want to push it. That's what you get for driving an American vehicle. It's choked right there. Sorry, just kidding. My son has tats and gauges and does a wonderful does a wonderful job with customers too. Okay, cool. If everyone on here chips in, will you tattoo your logo on your left ass cheek, Rob? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Nathan, that's ruthless. That is ruthless. Do I have to show it to anyone? If the price is right, twenty dollars is twenty dollars. That's horrible. <laughs> that's horrible. Let's see what else we got here. These comments are coming fast. Robert D's, nobody cares what you look like as long as you show up and get a hat and do a halfway decent job. Yeah, I agree with you. Chris, how much does gas cost right now there? Um, it is it is written here somewhere. It is written at Oh man, I can't read it from here. The sign's up in the air. I'll get it for you. But I'm guessing it's around 275, something like that is my thing. Don't tell Grant you're doing a live video, <laughs> right? <laughs> Too late, he's already there. Who's the ex-con next to you? Oh, I got to tell Mike that one. Hey, repeat that, Mike, so I don't miss that. Uh, I'll get you pay. Let's see, two fifty-five for gas in Wisconsin. That's not bad. We might be less. I don't know. I'm just going for what I put in my car. Nathan P. Nicole says, that was crazy. That's just crazy. Why does it look like you're both driving? I don't know. That's the, the driver's seat. We're at 7-Eleven, so I'm in the passenger seat. I think it's just the way it's backwards. Uh, let's see, are you live because you live and live your life in fear? Probably, man, riding with this guy. I have tats, only older customers care. Can I kindle the fire? Yeah, please, go ahead. Yeah, yeah. let's, why don't you discuss marijuana? Mm. And, and guys, why don't and we do that employees the, and Somebody said, who's the ex-con next to you? Oh. Yo mama. <laughs> you heard that. That's, that's ruthless. Ruthless on both of your parts. Let's see. Let me get back down here. I have tats, only older customers care. Okay, I'll go with that. I'll go with that. Where are you from, Joe? We moved to Missouri from Appleton. Let's see, it's as low as 325 here. Hey, uh, how much is the gas here, Mike? Can't reverse it. Cover your tats, wear a uniform. How much is the gas there, they're asking? How much what? How much is the gasoline here? I don't know. Well, look on the thing. I gave him $10. I put gas on the truck. Oh my it's gosh, not, you don't use a credit card and fill it up? No. Who pays cash for What's gas up? anymore? Me. Wow. Yes, just because you're buying all that weed. Let's see, here we go. How about wearing shorts or pants? Well, uh, this guy here, he wears shorts and he wears flip-flops. I wonder what is it, you know, I wonder what your return repeat rate is, Mike. I wonder what your repeat rate, rate is, Mike. You ever thought about that? Wearing shorts, a tank top, a tats, gauges, hey, earrings, and noses. So you want to go to the- They might uh, not call you back. Do you want to go to the Park Lane Tavern restaurant that has landed? Okay. Uh -huh. All right. Uh -huh. And now that you gave me the uh -huh. name of it, uh -huh. it's still my job. I brought hey, I brought you in the carpet cleaning world. I'll take you out of it. <laughs> Is that your new helper? Mike said, Nah, not my new helper. But I did bring Mike into the carpet cleaning world. But he's on his own now. Carries himself extremely well. I'll give him a crack. Okay. Nicole says she pays cash for everything. Well, I don't want to know what that everything is, Nicole. <laughs> Mike just drove back from the Colorado. Let's see, Nicole Menendo wears a bikini. Okay, all right. Can't touch that. Can't touch that. So anyway, tats, earrings, marijuana gauges, usage. Marijuana usage. Why don't we do another live video on that? The pros and the cons. Okay. Yeah, I'll go with that. I'm about the pro right now. All right, guys. We appreciate everything. What's up, Sarah? How you doing? What's your viewpoint, Sarah, on tats, gauges? Eyebrow rings, nose rings. It's sexy. They're letting you out there because they. I'm Mike 44 years old. I'm 44. Weed is legal way. here and everybody smokes it. I would rather have a pothead cleaner for me than a tweaker. I don't know what a tweaker is. It's Chris. a meth head. Somebody just. Oh, is that what a meth is? Yeah. Okay, that's a Somebody tweaker. who stays up for four days straight. Wow. And we'll see him for Sarah says she likes tats. Okay, cool. That's cool. What kind of vehicle you're in? We're in as an expedition or whatever it is. Something She's like sizing that. me up. Yep, she is sizing you up. You know, you know when a woman asks you, like, what do you do for a job and where do you live and things like that, you know what she's asking you? What? Are you going to kill her? <laughs> oh, my gosh. That's horrible. Because they don't wow. care about that stuff. They care wow. about are you hot and are you dangerous. Wow. So they like the danger a little bit. I guess so. Let's see. Richard Johnson says, oh, come on, Rob. You know the truth. 
of cigs and pot. Yeah, I know that. I know that. But it would be good to have a good conversation with other owners, how they feel about it. See, but business I'm purposes. I'm pro marijuana. Okay, Sarah says, but for business purposes, good idea to cover up a little. I go with that. Me? Well, she's saying tats. And it's I agree. 120,000 degrees outside. I'm cleaning carpets. Well, you're making money too. I think Sarah's got a good point there, you know? Sarah's got a point. It wouldn't be a bad idea to cover up a little bit. It's like a 30 or $40 tank top. Let's see, too. a tweaker is someone who sells Stanley Steamer wands for 50 bucks. <laughs> Ouch. Oh, Lord. I guess they steal them and sell them for meth. Is that what they do? I don't oh, my know. gosh, Johnny. That's horrible. Probably true, though. Bro, you need, uh, let's see, you need, you need to look professional. Otherwise, you never get off the truck, man. You'd be cleaning trailers. Mm, he's got a point there, Mike. I can tell if I'm high and the steering wheel is on the wrong side of the vehicle. Oh, Lord. It's not reverse. It's the camera, guys. Okay? It's the camera. Oh, uh, it's making it. Wow, Chris said he's smoking it right now. Jeez, you guys are a bunch of potheads. Is weed the improper term? What do people call it? Weed? Every time I say weed, people say, well, that's that's out of date. People don't say weed no more. They say weed all day. They do? Okay. Nicole says, hey, your camera flips the image. Exactly. Not a long sleeve shirt, but a shirt, boots, and whatever she said there. Oh, yeah, work shorts. Can we get pictures of that, Sarah, in the primate? <laughs> all right. Let's see. You look like a, she said, hey, Richard said you look like a lawn dude, like you cut lawn. Oh. <laughs> Hey, Miss Kate's entitled to his opinion. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? You take it right here, son. Get home. Puff, puff, pass. What does that mean? Oh, wait a minute. I know what that means. Yeah, no, it's still, He's puffing, puffing, but there ain't you passing here, okay? Where are you located at, Chris? Are you out in uh, California also where it's legal? Or in Colorado? Where else is it legal? Only like four or five Virginia states. Virginia Beach, right? I think. It ain't legal in Virginia Beach just because you act like it is. I've been treating it like it's been legal for years. Yeah. Hey, you know another thing, Mike had a bad car accident, a bad van accident one time. We all talked about that. Nobody was high. You got hit, right? In the middle of the night. Remember the vehicle accident, the van accident? I wasn't driving. You weren't driving? No. But you were in the vehicle? Yes. Okay. There was a park van on the... Okay. It looks like you just got... She said you looked like you just got released from jail. <laughs> she was... because your mom got me out. I think she's being funny. It's a girl who said that, by the way. Okay? That's the, I get it. <laughs> all right. She said it looks like Michigan here. Wait a minute, or did he say it's legal in Michigan? Oh, it's legal in Michigan? They ought to make it legal in Chicago. Maybe we wouldn't have so many like drive-bys and murders and stuff. Every night. Yeah, come on now, right? It's legal in more than 20 states, Robert says. <coughs> Man, you gotta stop doing that stuff in here. I can't breathe in here. It's raining right. outside. Okay. I'm almost home. It's legal in more than 20 states. So anyway, we'll talk about weed the next time around. This time here we're talking about tats and the way Mike looks and there's no... It's no disrespect towards Mike. It's just I'm wondering. My customers if, love me. I'm saying from a business perspective, well, maybe you attract that type of customer who likes that type of thing. The the 80 year old guy said next time I was at his house, he'd take me out to dinner. Okay, well that's pretty strong. I was dressed just like this. He got it hey, delivered. Chris said he got delivered to his front door by Weed Maps. There's a Weed Maps in California. Like a, like oh a, my yeah. gosh, that's yeah, hilarious. Like a weed Uber or something. Wow, like a, that's funny right there. Weed right. Uber comes to your house. Comes to your house. Man, like times have changed. When I was a teenager, of course, I didn't inhale. But when I was a teenager and we were smoking it, uh, we couldn't get it from weed maps. We didn't even have maps up on paper. Uh, he needs a, she said you need a haircut. <laughs> He's Mr. Clean. It makes me fast. He is Mr. Clean. Wow. Anyway, I'm pulling into my neighborhood, guys and girls. Yep, right here, Mike. That's where you're going to know I live at. Let's Chad, see. So Chad, we're on the way. Don't care either way. My son... It's a lead tech. He has two full sleeves. What's her? What are sleeves? The where it's all the way down. Oh, all the, oh yeah. Like I have one sleeve. I think that's a lot, David. But hey, man, if it's if, if this is the beauty of America, how do you like it? That's cool. America. Uh, still waiting on my safety. Oh, David, we just got the new poles in. I wanted to put the new poles on it. So thanks for it. We're putting them together tomorrow. Be shipping them. Tattoos create conversations. Everyone has <coughs> has them out here. Okay. They're those gauges would be a convenient them. place. <laughs> Michael said those gauges would be a convenient place to hang stuff. Oh, that's hilarious. Yeah. Wow. You can buy stock in marijuana now. Wow. Got to look out for 80-year-old guys trying to, to look at you. Take you out to dinner. You got to watch out for those guys. Yeah. That's a good point. <laughs> oh, that's horrible. I'm 6'2", also. That's true. 250. Well, and that's more of them to love. Yeah, don't work that's that horrible. way. That's horrible. That's horrible. Anyway, I'm going to head home, everyone. I'm going to flip this around. I'm going to show you how bad it's raining. 
As I'm driving through my neighborhood here, you can see how bad it is. That's why I can't roll my window down with this guy. And I'm trying to get out of here and it's all smoky in here. You can't really see the smoke, thank goodness. That'd be my house right there, Mike. So thanks a lot, everyone. It's good to hear making U turns fine. Thanks a lot, everyone. Have a great night. I'd love to hear your perspective. Come on in here and let us know how you feel about um, tattoos, tattoos piercings. piercings, gauges, and all that kind of stuff. And of course, this guy wears a tank top. I don't know. I think that's pushing the envelope. Thanks, everyone. Have a great night. The next night, we're going to talk about uh, the pros and cons of drug uses, especially. Let's talk about marijuana. Marijuana. That's it. We'll talk about marijuana. Thanks, everyone. Have a great night.